Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we are playing, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, or perhaps even from the title, that we're playing as the Hang Dog. So, custom game rules. We're going to leave historical AI focuses off, everything is pretty much set to default, and let us begin. So, the mods we're using are obviously Old World Blues 3.0, Old World Blues Radio, State Transfer Tool Mod, Player-led Peace Conferences, and... Colored events. Only five. Oops. And there's a console command, but we don't need that right now. Let's go and get some research. We only have three research slots in which we are civilized. We're going to go ahead and grab some of Ohm's Law because research speed is very bueno. Get some combat language. And we're going to immediately begin doing our land doctrine because, well, we're already going down conventional warfare. Let's see. We've got how many divisions? We've got a total of ten arenos. And let's begin with America's Metropolis. We were once delinquents in the streets of Denver, but when the bombs fell, we survived where many did not. Oh, how shame how terrible now I'm gonna go ahead and build up not in dog city where we have better infrastructure because well we might lose that eventually and that wouldn't be very good for us and I'll be honest I have tried this in my own time a little bit off-screen and actually I was trying to record a video for this but it didn't go so well because well we end up in a war eventually we'll say that doesn't go very well for us unless you know what you're doing early on but we'll get there when we get there and I'll talk more about that soon enough and let's go ahead and do that very good. And we shall be led by CRBS. Very cool. Pretty good attack. We have about a thousand manpower. So, uh, we're at 1.9% of our total manpower, but we're on funded militias. Alright, whatever. And Denver, America's metropolis. Before the Great War, Denver was a great city. One of the grandest in all the U.S. Governmental grants were related to Boulder City and cited left Colorado filthy rich. Able to take investments from Robco to help revolutionize the state into something that would stand the test of time. That it did, but not in the way those in pre-war Denver might have thought. The apocalypse left Denver mostly unscathed, and the city was left as a rotting corpse. Soon, scavengers would arrive. Salvagers worked together for a time. Puppies! National spirit, or... But there was some infighting. Furry friends. I like the defense, and I'm going to go with furry friends, probably. I love my, me some furry friends. Howling mad. On our rise, howled the dogs of war. They kept us warm and safe during the nuclear winter. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do we have here? He's flexible. He's a, probably going to go for gun nut because everything else is okay. And we're using, obviously, infantry. So, the claim system. Eventually, the infighting began to grow more fierce as tribes and salvagers fought for every little bit of territory within the city. These claim wars, as they were known, were the battles between various groups for salvage and scrapping rights to particular parts of Denver's mechanized corps. One tribe, the Hangdogs, made themselves known during this period of strife. We built up our rounder base helping the city around us, or we built our might, creating a new power in Denver. I like the factories a little bit more. We can always build infrastructure later. Even though we don't have, a, we get less manpower from this one, we still get more manpower, but dog eat dog. After our ascension to power in Dog City, we had to clean the streets of filthy, mutated mongrels. We raised some very good boys, though. Ooh, I love the good boys. Good boys. Let's go and grab you, and we're going to grab three at a time. Three at a time, and I do want to go to war with Fort Collins as fast as possible. It's a very dog eat dog world. We currently get 1.19 political power every day, furry friends, and then limited salvaging which hurts our construction speed. Ultimately, the hang dogs would come out on top in the claim wars. The foragers and claim jumpers being forced from the city to western Colorado, with the city of Denver under their control. Slowly, Denver would become known under another name, Dog City. It was the dog-eat-dog world after all. It was well worth it to be on top. We trained our dogs to be the best boys they could, or we trained our soldiers to become the ultimate weapons. Nice callers. I gotta go with doggy daycare. There's no contest. So, let's go ahead and do leader of the pack because we get more political power, stability, war support, and division attack on core territory. None can doubt that Bears of Teeth is a leader of the hangdogs, but he has a dream. Why rest in Dog City where they can use the wealth from scavenging to forge an empire? Who dares to kennel these hounds? Who dares such a thing? I'm gonna go immediately go ahead and try to just find these guys. Oh, we need more world attention though. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, look at that. That's a really cool, cool picture of old dog. But let's go ahead and come over here to Decisions and do this. Boom. But like I said, uh, I tried this off screen already once and it didn't go great for us just because we're going to need some anti-tank where we are going because of our focus tree. Now, early on, we can't take open the box because that makes us or turns our situation into a situation where you don't want to be in unless you've got anti-tank to beat up, let's say, some robots. Let's just... Put that out there. We're going to need a few robots to do that sort of stuff. All right, cool. 
Uh, we have this political power. What are we going to use first? We're probably going to go with Tributary Watcher. I want to get more army XP gains. We're on conventional warfare already, which isn't bad, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and do Colorado Salvage for more stability, though. The bombs didn't destroy Denver, but they wiped it clean of most life. Feral dogs and raiders roam its streets along with hunted robots. We can take the steps to clean this city of threats to meet the rising demand of the wastes. Hey, there we go. Now, I do want to take out the Wither Dogs first. Why? Because I want a little bit of action early on. It's going to take a long time for us to justify on them, secondly. And third, it gives us a nice place to core once we have enough compliance there, so I'm not really too worried about that. As you can see, we can either do Riches of the Box, or we do Warden, which we could play as Warden in this campaign, but I think we're going to stick with Dog City for now. Because I will do another campaign later on with Warden, because we eventually get to do Greatest of the Pact to run a Pact. Howling Victory, which looks really good, plus .2 daily compliance and less resistance target is great. And Texas Barbecue, which is awesome. So, which leads me to consider, or ponder, what's the scope of this campaign? We obviously are in Colorado. But how far should we go? Should we go with Colorado, take over almost all of New Mexico and Texas? Maybe. Should we take out Utah, maybe, as well? I don't know. We'll see what happens. If you have some thoughts regarding the scope of this campaign, please let me know in the comments below. Now let's go and grab a new commander. That'd be fine. Tree Burner Bingo. TBB. And TBB, well, we can't get too much here. Nimble Warrior. I don't like less speed. I don't like less attack. So that's probably not what we're going to go with. Colorado Salvage, though. That's some pretty good stuff. And if we had to choose something here, let's go ahead and choose... You know what? I'm going to get more max planning. Let's go with that. Negotiator. Now, fixing up. Of course, Dog City will prosper if people think of it as a town, and not just ruins. Let us promote trade and improve our markets. And actually, we do have a trade node here, if I do remember correctly. Yes, Dog City. And we're going to start trading. Ooh, New Sterling, 4.27. 35 more. Yeah, let's go and send a caravan over there. Nice. It's actually nice having a, a trade node. It's actually kind of beneficial, so. Oh, yeah, we have... Oh, yeah, we have slaves. Where do I put my slaves? Hmm. We're getting army XP. That's good. Do we have a navy? Oh, yeah. Hello. Under Admiral Snake-Eyed Anteater. Very cool. Train until you die. And I'll never use you anyways. Very good. Let's see. We've got... But two weeks left for that, and four days left for reference manuals. After that, let's go ahead and grab some gliders, just in case. This is my, like, safety blanket, my security blanket. You gotta get planes. I love planes. Planes are great. I might use them too much, though. Currently 25 caps. I'm probably going to use political bribes, because that helps with high command costs, army chief costs, economy laws, conscription laws, so... Even though we don't need to really change the conscription law for now, but we'll see what happens. Boardwalk Brewing. Uh, let's go and grab that one. An old brewery has somehow survived the test of time. It would be a waste not to use this to make a rich brew available wherever goods, good times are had. Two more civilian factories is not bad. Now we got that, we got that. Eventually, I do want to build up here. Let's see. And then there. But, of course, we'll build up pretty much everywhere. Ooh, Wigwam. That's a nice name. I love Wigwams. Alright, so that's going to go to industry planning, because that one is actually probably one of the most important technologies anyone could get early on. Uh, begin a scavenging program, why not? I did say I want to invest in with political bribes, but whatever. Oh, yeah, you definitely got to get this guy too first. Definitely get this guy. 1.72 political power after we've got 20% more stability, war support, more division attack on core territory, and political power. Rats, mole rats have infested the underbelly of Dog City. We aren't sure how they made their nest undetected, but at least six people have been partially eaten so far. Only a man named Jeremy has died so far, despite being a banker, that his death has caused an outcry. People are leaving. Where are raid herbs when you need them? Well, Jeremy. They always bring up Jeremy. Now, I forget exactly where Jeremy is from. If you let me know in the comments below, it'll probably make me look like a fool, but that's okay. Totally okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember Jeremy that well. Doggos. Actually, division-wise, we were making three divisions. We have, we already have doggos on our guys, which is great. Love it. If we get enough, uh, army XP, we're gonna throw doggos on the militia, or we just make some crowd control gear as well, and some enforcer battalions. That would be okay as well. She has army color one carbon. Very good. Very good. And demand tribute. The raiders who took refuge just outside our borders have sent us a simple message: pay tribute or die, and then pay anyways. 
Black Canyon. Unrest amongst the slaves, huh? Oh, wait, Black Canyon. That's that's these guys. Um, I don't think they have access to our land, so okay. But we have unrest amongst the slaves. While our slaves have never been terribly happy with their working conditions and social standing, over recent weeks it seems that our slavers have become particularly rebellious to our orders. Sparked by an influential slave leader in Dog City, sporadic clusters of violence against slave owners has spread across the nation in the past few days, with slaves defying orders and even attempting mass breakouts. While their core demands are a little more than better conditions and food, we risk setting a dangerous precedent should we bend to the slaves. Crushing them, on the other hand, would surely break the spirit of the slaves for decades to come, but could be costly in men and stability. What are we to do? Make minor concessions? Crush or bolt? And making sure they never rise up against us again? Yeah, that's the way to go. That's absolutely the way to go. Make sure that they understand what it means when we crack a whip. Watch out. 69, nice. Uh, War Sports pretty good too. What do we have coming up? Oh, we're about to get paid. Good. About to spend some money. And two weeks left for that. That's not bad. Let's see. Weather Doggerinos. So we have. We're not even halfway there. Funny the schools. How strong are these guys, actually? Vice City. That looks pretty good. Oh, well, that's good for them. Advanced Erect Palisade. More max entrenchment. They don't have that much manpower, which is nice. 37 divisions. They've got some National Guard guys. Some militia dudes. Not bad. Not bad. Marcus Walkers. Oh, gliders, yes, please. Bread and butter, motorized flight, here we come. Do we even have any air bases around here? We might. Uh, let's go with two. There you go. There you go. Boardwalk brewing. Next up, cleaning up Dog City. We must tighten our rule over the city. All who wish to scavenge are welcome, so long as they pay, of course. I'll get more construction speed now with this focus tree. Eventually, we can do Howling Forever to get another research slot. As well as riches of the box, which we get an additional research slot, so we get five in total, which would be, I think, pretty awesome. So, NCR declare war on the rapids. Good luck, NCR. But we don't really care what's going on over there because, well, we're pretty gosh darn far away. Marrow drinkers declare war on the troll warren. We do definitely got to get down to well equipped army, but political bribes. There we go. We can do that one. Capture the warren. Not bad. Work is needed. Sounds like a good idea to me. Sounds like a very good idea. Let's see, 1.68. That's a little bit less than before. 1.72 was the norm. Oh, we lost because of the slave stuff. Let's do that. And anyone here? Ooh, GDA Fusion Power Grid is not bad. Tender is not bad either. Green Custom Defense Dome number 54 is not bad, but we can't use them because we need Warden. Dogs of War, nothing here super special. Eyes in the Sky, we need Warden. And Raiders of Heart, which is pretty good too. Now, we could do this stuff, just just fire work all the time it goes on by minus 25%. That's pretty good. Kibble Eater. Uh, we need Warden for this. We need Dynamite Salvagers, which we'll talk about in a little bit. That's not bad. And Kennel Builder. So, and what do we have for Cultural Advisors? Good boy. Oh, we get Rex. Oh, we get Rex. I should have chosen him first. We get more political power. Oh, oh I love Rex. Oh, look at this. Let's go political mastermind. Oh. Mm. I just spent money working for these guys. You know what? We're going to grab these guys first. Or whatever we can grab around here first. Actually, let's grab this one first. We're going to use all of our political power first. As long as we have political bribes. And once we don't have enough political power, or once political bribes is ended, then we'll probably get more political power and stuff like that. That was my fault. I should have realized that before. I don't understand why we are on funded militias, and we started with like less than 2% recruitable population factor. Not really understanding that, but maybe I'm not supposed to understand that. Maybe that's the thing. We need more guns. Okie dokie. Remains to be seen. We should review every shipment out of Duck City. Who can say what treasures we might find? So now we currently have, what, minus 33% construction speed? Not great. So right now we're really focusing on just building up our industry as we're wanting to go to war with Fort Collins. Actually, do we have... Oh, well, we do have an airbase over here. Reclamation Authority, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. The old world secrets will be ours. We've got a whole two planes. Not much. But that might just be enough for us to beat up the Wither Dogs and slowly, ever so slowly, begin coring them. Military Command, 83 political power is not bad. We'll probably go with Planeswalker because that's a little more attack, a little more speed, but Tender. Ooh, Dogs of War. Actually, we'll probably go with Raider Heart just because 8% more attack is really nice. It's actually pretty darn nice. There you go. Just in case. Don't want to deal with that. Yeah, 8% more attack and defense is really awesome. Okie doke, and after this one we shall do 
Digging deep? Well, future prospects. Let's do past mistakes. Denver, as ancients called our home, has a major center of, has a major center of learning. But they poisoned the land and left that for us to clean up. Perhaps it is time we start, aided by words from the goddess to the west. In which now we get what? More construction speed. Very nice. Even more, 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 more. Ten out of fifteen is not bad. Not great. But not bad. Hey, it looks like we got five army XP finally. Let's make our guys 20 combat with. Nice. Now we really have no guns. Wow. If that's the case, go ahead and lower this one then. Now we need like 250 less guns. Good. Core blowers, core one dry blowers. That's fine. We don't. We can't do this because we need more infantry equipment. Drastic measures. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. And that's okay. Pass mistakes. Four days. Motorized flight. Cool. And that's a little bit ahead of time for me personally. Anti-tank is a little bit ahead of time as well. Let's come down to construction basics. More factory construction speed. Very good. Very, very good. Four days left, past mistakes, and future prospects. There are many spots in the city that the elders say we should avoid, places marked by death or haunted by robots still, but Bears' teeth knows better. Let us explore them. Oh, and then we which we get or we remove this, and we actually get plus ten percent country trade income. Nice. Very good. Focus on the internal sphere, that's not worth it. Expel the rift up. Eh, it's okay, it's not great. Especially when you lose that much more political power. Really kind of not worth it. Alright, can we choose someone else here now? 80, we have 100, 100, uh, Dogs of War. Since we are attacking, I do want a little bit more attack, so let's go with Planeswalker. And get more speed too, which is nice. Really trying to maximize my political power for what it is right now. And then we'll probably grab... Not good boy, because Caravan Master Baron is actually better. Because 10% usually results in about 0.2-ish, maybe 0.15 compared to 0.1. So... Totally okay. Totally, totally okay. And we can go to war soon. Now, the reason why I'm not building up in Dark City because we eventually will lose it, so... And I don't want to build up anyone else, so... What is that? Ooh. Yeah, we're missing quite a few pieces of equipment, even though we are training some more, so... What do, you, what do you expect? You know, how about you stop training for now? Future prospects? Now, if we did this, we'd end up in a civil war, and that's not very good. So, let's go ahead and do Digging Deep. The robo hides a great deal of value. Let's use some <clears throat> unpaid laborers to clean it up. I love unpaid laborers. It's one of my favorite group of laborers. Nice. Visit Rangers and Vipers. Very good. And how many more days do we have with this? Oh, we have about a little more two months. Ooh. Alamo chapter. I still gotta play as Alamo chapter someday. It's not a huge focus tree, but definitely gotta play as it someday. Shale's Army, Last Lodge, Carthaginians, the Lone Star folk are not having a good time, but hey, that's, it is what it is. Hang Dogs, Lanny says score, looking not too bad. 40 days left for that. Oh, and work is needed soon enough. Oh wow, that's a lot of manpower. Love it. And we'll probably attack here first, maybe, maybe with three divisions of militia. Not that strong. Ghoul infantry, though, not that strong as well, but that's okay. Tool procurement, why not? Go get even more output. Minus 600. Looking a little better. And we're going to go and grab Tender. -er. Ooh. I like experienced soldiers' losses. Goes down and more army XP gain, but breakthrough and soft attack. I've got to go doggy style. Well, that sounds really weird. That sounds really, really weird, but don't mind me. Land doctrine, we're doing that already. Let's get some better training times. 45,000 caps. And hey, we're going to war for Port Collins. Finally, we can do something here. Demand tribute. Um. Um. No. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say, but no. Can you guys actually do that and go to straight up to Ford Collins? I mean, oh, we actually have 15 planes. That's not bad. NCR declared one Umbra. No one cares. All right, pretty good so far. Uh, yeah. With this many divisions attacking, you might be able to do really, really well then. Slowly win against these guys, who? Great. Oh, you can help support the attack. Try to get as few losses as possible. Lone Star. Oh, the Han War Band has been 
or become a victorious. No matter who they throw in here, we'll do okay. Oh, actually, they have two divisions over there too, huh? Quite not ideal. There you go. Nice. Do we get a Cheyenne? Oh, let's take out this area first. That's fine. That's fine with me. 80s doing a good job. Cool. And these guys are encircled. Let's take them out. And it gives us quite a bit more army XP. Don't mind if we do. Cool. Let's get everyone on the line. And go here and go straight to Cheyenne. Get some more planning. Oh, we need more guns. Oh, yeah. Occupied territories. I'm going to do West End Pacification because that's always the best one to do. Hang dog about a group. Probably not worth doing. Actually, we already have 10 army XP. I love suppression. Ah. Oh. Nice. It only costs us five doggos to do that, so pretty darn good, I'd say. Let's do a lot of damage here, actually. Thank you. And, like, every episode, I've got to get at least a little bit of warfare under our fingers, right? Oh, we need a little more political power. There we go. Just just a little bit more warfare. Just, just, just a smidgen more, please. And we'll be digging deep regardless. Restructuring the kennels, why not? Oh, that's a great focus description. And Cheyenne? Well, thank you for playing, Cheyenne. Thank you, Brother Dogs. I appreciate your war effort. Not really. Now, um, obey us. Raymer. Well, we might not be able to get another guy here. Yeah, we probably won't since political bribes are already done. But I think we did really well. Slave, send slaves to the workshops. 5% more construction speed. Um, uh, eh, 5%? Eh, I'm not really too keen on 5%. How much money we got? We got 45. Actually, how many slaves do we have now? 0.4. Hmm. Drastic measures. And there. Good fortifications. Awesome. Manual laborers. Yeah, there's a 55% chance we get something good, so let's try that one. And coordinated assault. Hmm. I'm thinking. Somewhat. Somewhat thinking. Regarding our focus tree. Or not focus tree, but land doctrine. Now, normally, I'm probably going to choose going down trooper warfare. Even though I sometimes on occasion might use mechanized warfare. Trooper warfare I think is just better overall. Especially if we don't have vehicles. We don't even start with vehicles. So I'm thinking we'll probably go trooper warfare even though I, whenever I play as dogs I always get the image of us having dogs with like having motorcycles and having a dog in a sidecar with a helmet on and goggles. I don't know. Whenever we have dogs I always think of that. I'm not sure why but I think that'd be so cool. Ooh, look at this. More civilian workshops? Why not? Clearing out some of the raiders holding out in the mountains will help out with defending our city. But yeah. Dogs and sidecars. Sounds... I wish that... Yes. Just yes. Cool. Get some more research speed. Thank you. Happy 2276. Everyone, hope you're having a great, great year. Let's see, go. Grab this. Grab this. And grab that. Secret meal. Recently, we've been heard of a man who goes by the simple moniker T. He claims to be from a very far away land we do not find on any old world maps. Oh... We pointed out from his description an ancient country of great warriors called Sweden. But it seems that it is not from where the mysterious T hails, judging by his extremely irritated expression. Regardless, the ghoul brings the secret with him. The best gosh darn homemade meatloaf recipe we've ever tasted and he wants to share. Our best grub grifters have adopted the famous recipe all throughout the country recently. Groups have been making pilgrimages, even from even different lands of foreign and exotic gods, just have a little small, tiny taste. Hmm. I hear you right as well. More money? Mo better. Rot purchase a hey, 48.71, not bad. Now I know we could be building in here, especially for more factories, like I said before, but still. A15, not bad. Build that up, boys. And so, how much would it take to court this? 119. That's not great. 114. Not bad. And Swiss sauce. I love it. Okay, so since we have this much political power, we're probably gonna go ahead and just grab the guy who gives more political power, anyways. 1.68, because we have 69% stability. Kennel Master, chopping at the bit. I like that quite a bit. Just fire will times goes down by quite a bit more. But political mass mind is where it's at. So 1.68 every day becomes what? And actually helps you helps us with getting more stuff. 1.68, 1.69, 1.68, 89, 1.89. So that's what I'll see an increase of 0 0.2. 0 0.2, 0 0.21, 0 0.2 basically. Not bad. And you know what, screw it. We're just going to get Rex next. Because he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Until... People down south who want to be evil want to take him out. 
or take him or steal him. Huh. Not my good boy. No, 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 no. Never gonna steal my good boy. Never. Never ever gonna do that. How many dogs do we have? Oh, we got plenty of guns too. Nice. We could definitely use more fighters. Let's go and stop doing that area first. You know, go and train. I normally don't have them trained, but since it's early game and there's not that many different air forces, that'll be totally fine with us. Actually, when's the next one going to be done? 10 days? Nope. Cool. After this, we shall do fortify the highways, not nah, raid the police stations? Why not? Before the bombs fell, there was much strife in the city of dogs. We can find the remnants of that unrest and use them for our own ends. We get a whole one Uno arms workshop. And... There we go. Cool. So it's probably best to ask you guys now for this. This campaign, I don't know how long it's going to last, but usually we like getting some sort of special units, right? Power armor we could use. Or special forces. Now, I don't know which one we want to use. I'll leave that up to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. I'm totally open and fine with whatever, what you guys think. Even though I'm kind of, I'm pulling right now towards special forces just because early on power armor isn't great, but you never know. I'll, I'll go with whatever you guys determine. With the majority of votes, probably. Scavengers found something in the ruins of an ancient factory. Our scavengers found pre-war goods. Time will tell whether it was worth the blood and sweat we paid for it. Research speed plus 10%. That's not bad for six months. Yeah, that's actually not, not too bad. Crowd control gear, just in case. We definitely need that. And some more doggos. Ooh, political bribes, we can do that again. But now nah, we're going to save our money. It's always good to save at least a little bit of money, right? Settler position looks pretty good. A less experienced soldier's loss. More multi population. But if you get two political power a day... That's suck. Suck. How is Mojave Territories and... Ooh, they're doing really well against... Oh, they're bye-bye. Bye-bye. The poor Mojave chapter. And I'm not liking what's happening down here. Hmm. But the next thing we got to research is... Um, Anti-tank. Police stations? Sharp teeth? Why not? We need to prepare for Lannis' cohort, Texan Brotherhood, and any others who would threaten us. Let us melt some of the rust scraps into weapons of war. Very good. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely next. After this, yeah, definitely get this stuff as... We gotta move quickly. We gotta make sure that we get through the little event with Warden when he spawns to create a civil war. And to do that, we gotta get some anti-tank rifles. That's absolutely necessary because... We set this on a historical. We have no idea when Lanius is going to attack us. Oh, you guys might. I have no idea. Fate of the Monks. Today, today New Mexico. Legend of the Butcher. Color it red. Ooh. 50% core reduction cost. I still, at the time of this recording, I still have yet to play as um, Lannis' cohort, so. Empire of Ash. Towards Dog Sea. So they have quite a while. They need to go through Maxon Chapter and Painted Rock, so. We've got some time. Totally fine with me. Totally fine. We can use that army XP that we have currently for the anti tank. And we're not super far away from getting that done, too. What do we have here? Anything interesting? Sending out minor prospectors? Might as well. Yeah, I, I like investing stimulus. That'd be good. Sharp teeth, A. Eh? And fixing factories. Although we cannot reactivate every robot factory in the city, there's much to be salvaged from the ruins. Even more armed workshops. Don't mind if we do. Uh, let's go do that. We're going to need even more guns than that. That'll be fine. Eventually, we'll make plenty of doggos, so that'll be good. Matrons with Papa didn't. Hello. And we already did this. Well, that's what we can do is that stuff. Crowd control. Good. Come over here and grab some of this smoke signal stuff. Uh, we are building that pretty quickly. Oh, let's get Chadwick Booth first, though. More war support, division organization, just by Warworld's times. We definitely need that if we want to keep moving on and conquering more of Utah. Utah? No, no. Well, maybe we'll core Utah, depending on what you guys' opinions are. But Colorado. i got to figure out which state we're actually working in here first. Oh, Kiowa, huh? Not bad, not bad. Do we have an airbase? Oh, yeah, we do have an airbase over here. And how are we doing over here? 50? That's not bad, actually. Still training? Nice. We do have two arm air XP, so not bad. Three days for coordinated assault. We'll probably go with Trooper Warper, though. That just seems like it makes more sense for us. We don't have any vehicles. As much as I would love to have dogs and motorcycles and APCs, I think that's probably the better way to go for us for now. That's a, that's a, that's a little different. 42-day focus tree? Or focus, I should say. Not bad. The pit bulls. Oh, that's not bad. West Coast supplies. There's an old camp which belonged to West Coast salvagers before we chased them out. 
Perhaps there's something we can use there. Ah, oh, wigwam. I know it's a Native American thing, but wigwam sounds just so awesome. I love me wigwam, which sounds very, very weird. Ooh, Dog City, yes, please. Mo money, mo beta. We're only level two now? Wow, that's not good. They made it sound like Dog City was a metropolis, and it looks like it is. Actually, that looks like almost like a triangle here. Huh. Looks like a lot of shacks. Like, a lot of shacks from, like, EU4 when you build up your city bigger and bigger because of development. Oh, man. Looks kind of sad, though, to be there. Do you see how much money we got? That's a lot of money. 157. That's not bad. That's not bad. And we got to save some political power to core this stuff, too. Don't want to forget that. No Air Force person. What, we got no dogs in air? In the air? Like, what, 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 what is this? What? Uh, so you got five days left. How many days do we have for this one? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we've been saved our enemies. Endangered servants. Hmm. Should we keep slaves? Or should we just outlaw, outlaw slavery? Because that wouldn't be too bad, but... I don't know. Slaves. Do we want slaves? Is slavery a good thing? Some would say yes, some would say no. But I just said we need to save political power and I just spent it. What's wrong with me? A lot of things. Not really, but whatever. Uh, recon. I, I want to be pretty gosh darn recon focused, so we're going to grab some recon right now. Oh, we need some water. Where are the followers of the apocalypse when you need them? That's weird. One of the rare times I'm actually saying, we need the followers of the apocalypse. So, the sky must fall. The towers of the old ones are beginning to fall. With some encouragement, we can help with that and turn them to a better purpose. Two or more arms workshops? Man, we got a lot of arms workshops. We got 40 factories. Nice. Oh, yes. Grab this immediately. Immediately. A little bit of lag. Whatever, my friends. I want to go to war before we end this episode as well. I want a little bit more conflict. Just, just a little more conflict. Conflict makes us stronger. As some might say. Good, 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 good. And before we make any more divisions, I'm going to just throw these guys on there immediately. We all need them. Because in the next episode, we're going to have a small, slight, puny, very bloody civil war. There we go. Stop training. Thank you very much. Give them a few more seconds. Scavengers found something. Hey, political guy. That, well, that's not too bad. Better political power gain. And, well, everything else is okay. But slightly more political power. Was it worth it? Maybe. Maybe not. Cool. Actually, do they just have water? That'd be kind of nice if they did. Oh, they do have a, a smidgen. A smidgen of water. Alright, guys, let's go on ahead. We have 16 divisions, which is awesome. No, they don't attack us. If we did a general attack, could we win? This is very dangerous to do early on. But if we force the attack, this is probably going to be very costly. Smoke signals. Cool. Let's go grab some encryption. Oh, and since you guys are here, don't even worry about moving. Just take out Atwood. Not bad. We've suffered three casualties versus two, 500. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a boy no job. The enforcer's not looking too good right now. 600. Eight. Even forcing the attacks sometimes is worth it. Sometimes it's definitely not. They have a single factory. And we've pretty much taken them over. We need Raymer, and we'll have them. We've lost eight guys still. I'm going to assume maybe 10, 20. Okay, we've lost 10 guys. Taking them off. Great. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will have a slight conflict with someone named Warden. But regardless, we'll do well anyways. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.